Hi everyone, Alison Davis here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's lesson is part two in my series of the complete guide to your golf swing. So today we're talking about the takeaway, the first move in the golf swing. So today we're gonna to learn all about what makes a good takeaway and a couple of common things that I would see make things go bad. So if you are a first time viewer, please consider subscribing. I post videos every week on a variety of subjects and they're all designed to help you and your golf and get you to shoot lower scores and understand your golf swing better. Keep watching to learn how. So today's lesson is all about the first move in the golf swing, how we start the golf swing, how the club and body should move back to get the club in the correct place or slot as we start to initiate the swing. What I want to see really, and this is one of my big points I like to make with golfers, is that we start the golf swing with the club and the arms together and not the body. Now, some people frown upon this because they think the one piece takeaway is the life and death of the golf swing and that's what we should do. I'm gonna slightly disagree with that. People who tend to get the one piece takeaway tend to get a lot of early rotation with the body and then the arms tend to lift. And for me, they lose the sequence and they tend to get a golf swing that doesn't marry up and match very well at the top of the backswing. What I like to see is the feeling of the club head starting the golf swing. Obviously that has to be initiated by the hands. The club head is not going to move on its own. It's not a magic trick. So we're going to get the hands and the arms initiating the golf swing. They then initiate the shoulders. So for my firing sequence would be kind of one, or if you like one, two, then three, then four. So I want to really feel that we get the club initiated with the arms early on. We feel the wrist cock start to happen somewhere between the ground and waist high, or rib high around this area here. And we feel that we control the hand path. So I don't want the hands going out or coming massively too in. So one of the best ways of feeling this for me is let the right hand float. Feel the left hand would go across the right hand. That's the direction, the journey, the plane I want the hands to go in. And at the same time that's happening, obviously we're letting the club start to set up and we're feeling very centered with the body at the same time. So as the body goes, as the arms start away, I want to feel a slight bit of left side bend here. Just to feel that the left bend and the rotation happen pretty much around about the same time. If I don't get the left bend, I'll tend to move laterally off the ball too much. So I want to feel that my head stays on the ball. I get this left bend, I get this arm initiated golf swing, the wrist start to cock a little bit and we get the golf club into this slot here so ideally at this point here i want the club head to be pretty much in line with the hands i don't mind if it's slightly out in front don't like it so much if it's slightly behind in front we can work with we can learn from there to work to the top and more golfers would struggle with crossing line at the top rather than laying the club off so i want to feel that the right arm starts to soften this is pretty subconscious for me. Again, I like to see a nice bit of width with the arms. So I'm not purposely trying to soften the arms, it just happens. But I'm really feeling that I'm trying to stay centered with that left bend and let the club start back on the correct journey. The common things we see wrong is the forearm rollers, the arm picker uppers, and the one piece guys. So those are things I'm trying to get you to avoid doing while staying centered and pivoting correctly. So the takeaway for me is all about giving us an opportunity to move the club from this position to the top correctly without any compensation. Now we can show you golfers that have poor takeaways that are great players. And I can show you lots of golfers and the average of them would be in a pretty good place in takeaway. So it's not a case of this is the be all and end all, but it certainly helps you to allow you to have a golf swing to function without compensation and make you the most consistent player you can be. So the feels would be just to feel that left side bend and that takeaway start or initiate with the arms. That's the take home message for me. Let's go ahead and try a shot. So a little bit off balance there, first shot of the day. But really tried hard to get very centered in my takeaway there and get the positions right to show you on camera. 
So today's lesson's all been about starting the goal swing correctly, starting it like the most average players on tour, you know, the most common traits we see with players on tour, allowing us the opportunity to swing the golf club correctly for the rest of its journey so we don't have that point of breakdown in the takeaway. Generally speaking, if we can stand correctly, that's something we can control generally physically, and the takeaway then is the next thing we can do in a nice slow pace to get the club moving away correctly. So make sure you check out the rest of the videos in this series. We're going on to the upper backswing next. So make sure you check them out. It'll follow this video pretty shortly out on my channel. Make sure also you join the conversation, guys. Chat down below, ask any questions, ask any requests for any videos, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, if you have enjoyed the video, please click like and share the video. I'd much appreciate if you could do that. And also, lastly, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit my logo down this bottom corner here. Join me in my journey. Let's improve your golf. Thanks for watching and see you again here soon.